so in the last video on this catering project this mini catering project uh, we got the steering rack made down here so what I plan to do in this video is to get that fitted now to the chassis fixed in place um, and then we can also get the track rod ends fixed to them front uprights so what I plan to do is to create some aluminium brackets that will span from this front cross member I don't know if you can see that from that angle but basically at the front of the chassis we've got this front member here and then we've got this member running across here so my plan is to make two supports to span across them out of aluminium and to bolt down into those cross members and then on top of there I'll be making a clamp arrangement to go over the top of the cylindrical part of the rack case and that will clamp it down to the support. I have got a drawing here you can see this will be like a horseshoe shape a horseshoe shape with some lugs at each end where we can put a fixing through so that's what the clamp will look like in terms of height what I've done is I've used I've got a bit of steel bar here which is 15 mil thick so I've just sat that on there and to me that looks about the right height the rack will sit centre to the chassis and still need to work out what's going to be best in that direction I want to get it as far forward as I can um, but without it interfering with these front vertical members on the side so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some bit of aluminium to span across from member to member there and then we'll cut some aluminium for making them clamps once we've got those parts made we'll be able to work out where we want to position it and then we'll add some more holes to uh, fix those clamps down I've now got my bit of aluminium cut this is what I'm going to make the two um, clamps out of the two hot u-shaped clamps um, and then these are the two supports that I'm going to be bolting on the other side of the chassis a little span across here so they'll have holes in each end to fix to the chassis and then they'll have another two set of holes for the clamp to fix to I've decided the best thing to do next is to drill the holes in the chassis so I've got the chassis in the machine vise at this end and then I've got it packed up at the other end off camera um, to get it level so there'll be two holes to go in this front cross member here and then two holes to go in this cross member um, the reason I'm doing this next is so I know what hole spacing um, to put in this it'll be easier to make this match the holes in here just because if I'm off slightly in these and the miss these then there's a big risk of it coming out the side um, and this is a fabrication so the tolerances won't be as good as what I can achieve um, in these machine parts so I've I've got the centre drill set up, I'm just going to touch um, just a little dimple for the 2.5mm drill to follow. We'll be tapping it M3 so the bolts that come through the other side can bolt straight into those cross members. Okay, so what I've done is I've put some marking out ink on there. I've scratched in a centre line on that front cross member, um, both in that direction and that direction. Um, and I've just centred up my centre drill on that cross so that will be my datum to work front and back and then towards the back of the car so I'm going to go do the two front holes in the cr front cross member first and then I'll come and do the second set
Okay, so I've got those two supports um, machines now. I've uh, counter sunk or counterboard this one on the left. I'll probably do the same to that one. I just did it because I didn't have any screws long enough to go right through to reach the tapped holes. So I've got them in position and now I need to work out where I want to put the holes for the clamp for the steering rack. So I think I've got it in a position there that I like. And uh, you can see the uprights turning when we turn that. So the other thing I need to do is on this one, I need to just machine a bit of a recess into that side um, just for the casing of the pinion to go that way about two mil at the moment the bush the bronze bush in the end of the rack casing is sat on top of that spot it should sit over the other side um, and that's just because this material is slightly over thickness so I'll machine that out I'm just going to mark where the holes need to go um, then we can make the clamps and we can get them fixed into position. I'll probably make the clamps first actually and then I can put them in position and mark through. So now I have the uh, clamping brackets uh, made for the for securing the rack in position. I've put some marking fluid on the supports there. So I'm just going to sit it in position where I decided I wanted it to go. All I've done is I've just uh, scratched a reference line so I know where to drill the holes to hold these brackets in position. So I can disassemble this now, get those brackets back out. We'll drill the holes in the brackets, tap them, um, and then we still have that recessed machine um, in that uh, support there. So we'll do that as well while we've got the parts out.
So I've now got the steering rack fitted and that's the uh, fitting of the steering rack uh, complete. Uh, I did have to back those bolts off a bit because the compression of those brackets, those clamps, uh, must have slightly shrunk the bushes a bit because the steering went really tight. So I've just backed that off a turn or two and now uh, it's working well. I've uh, also roughly adjusted the tracking, um, it's not perfect, uh, I should be able to improve that once I've got the wheels on it'll give us a better reference for measuring but just off, just from eye I've got uh, those tracking a lot better now, it's working really well. So I'm going to call that the end of this video, um, I have now completed the drawings for the front hubs and brake discs um, and the stub axles that will bolt into them upright for both sides and I'm working on the design for the rear hubs and the axles um, and they'll need splines cut in them so I'll be doing a video shortly where I do some trials on cutting internal splines on the manual shaper so over the last week or so I've received some more stickers. Um, I've received a sticker from uh, Mark Pressling. Um, he has a YouTube channel and at the moment I believe he's restoring a Bridgeport milling machine and he's doing a very nice job of that. And uh, also which I found quite interesting on his YouTube channel was he, um, he does, a lot of, does a lot of videos on metal finishing uh, like anodizing aluminium um, zinc coatings on metal and the other sticker I've received is is from Lance at Bundy Bear's shed and uh, he does a lot of machining uh, work on engines particularly for tractors older tractors and at the moment he's doing a video series where he's restoring a Ferguson tractor I think it's T TEA 20 um, and it's a really good series to be honest uh, after watching the series I had a quick look on eBay to see what tractors were for sale around here but uh, I don't think that will go down too well with the wife anyway thanks for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't already like hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and comment below if uh, you've got any ideas on uh, what I could do on the uh, caterham next or if there's anything you'd like me to explain further and I'll see you again next time.